you. There are somber honors this weekend with 469 names added to the fallen firefighter memorial. And as usual, thousands of people from across the United States and Canada here for that ceremony. Our Bill Folsom at Memorial Park looking into what happens in advance of that ceremony. Bill? Yeah, big crowds here tomorrow, but right now we're actually seeing some of the families coming over to see that names newly etched onto the wall over there. Part of showing respect to the firefighters who have died is also honoring their family and colleagues. It starts as soon as they arrive in Colorado Springs. The culmination is that ceremony done with excellence. Names of firefighters forever etched in stone. I'm here to honor my fallen father, Vincent Edward Davis. Suzanne Smith is here from Canada with her family. The experience so far is more than anticipated. They welcomed us, welcomed us with open arms. There isn't enough that they can't do for us, and they're so respectful. This is about them. It's not about anything other than just showing them our gratitude for their, the sacrifices they've had to make as family members. The event represents the nearly 360,000 members of the International Association of Firefighters from across the U.S. and Canada. Local 5, the Colorado Springs chapter steps up to fill the 640 four-hour shifts. There are about 200 volunteers that cover that 2,500 hours of volunteer hours this week. 90% of that are firefighters from Local 5 and Colorado Springs Fire Department. It's escorting honored guests, also prepping for the ceremony. So many people are expecting right, the usual uh, mass of white seats isn't in. enough, so there's an added section for black chairs. So this year it's about double the size of what we would normally see. Families stopping by for a look at the names of family members newly etched on the wall also get a glimpse of preps for the ceremony. Close to 2,000 IAFF members spending hours getting ready. They practice all day today for an all-day event tomorrow. Seeing the practice is already emotional. I believe tomorrow there's going to be a flood by virtue of all the tears that are going to be shed, remembering the wonderful individuals that we've lost due to death, and they were wonderful firefighters. Now the families that are here to be honored and to honor their lost firefighter are all wearing red, white, and blue lanyards. If you see them, thank them for their sacrifice. The ceremony is tomorrow at 11. Anyone from the public is welcome. At Memorial Park, Bill Folsom, News 5.